Metaphysical radionics. What is it? How does it work? Why does it work? Well, in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the basic concept of what I um, describe as metaphysical radionics. And when I use the word metaphysical, basically what I'm talking about is we're working with energies that are there, but they're unseen. And each of these energies basically have their own rules of existence. And even though we can't see them, they're there. And if we work along with, with, these, uh, with these energies in the way that they're, um, in a way that we could interact with them, so to speak, uh, this is where the magic is. So when I say unseen energies, well, gravity is an energy, and it's unseen. And we really don't think about it. We just know that it's there. It has certain properties. It has certain rules. In radionics, we're working with what's called etheric energy from the ethers. Or uh, in magic, they call that the astral plane. Okay? So in essence, we're working with etheric energy. Okay? We're working with these unseen energies that it's uh, that resides in the astral plane so to speak and a lot of this also has to do with quantum physics you know quantum physics says that the universe is basically a sea of energy and everything is made up of energy and information everything has its own uh, vibrational resonance or frequency and this is basically how metaphysical radionics works, okay? We are basically creating a, um, a frequency, a vibration, and we are projecting that out, and we're creating an imprint on the astral plane, on the etheric, and the universe, basically, we're tapping into one of the rules called, called the law of similars where the universe has to elicit some sort of response back to us on what we're projecting out to it. So, and it could be just about anything. I mean, it could be any desire or um, anything that we choose to personally enhance us, such as a quality or a trait that we want, or a possession such as a new car, a better job, um, a new romance, whatever it may be. Uh, the key is basically in creating that vibration or that uh, frequency. And then just energizing it with positive emotions as if we already have it in the now. What I like to tell folks is um, just imagine that you're ordering something from the universe, so to speak. Uh, that you're in a restaurant, you open up a menu, and you pick out a dish or a, a, uh, a meal that you decide to have. Basically, you're making a decision. The waitress comes over, and you say, yeah, I want one of these. And she goes, okay. She goes back to the kitchen, and the order is then prepared by the chef. All you do is just allow it to happen. You sit back and you, you know that eventually they're going to bring you what you ordered. There's no need to go back to the kitchen and check on the chef. He's not going to like that. Okay? So, you know, if you keep doing that, they'll probably throw you out of the restaurant. Well, it's the same thing when you place an order with the universal intelligence. Okay? You place your order. And you have faith that you know that you're going to get that eventually what you ask for, okay? There's no need to keep on um, thinking about it or getting obsessed with it or worrying about it, okay? So it's very easy to do. That is also one of the reasons why we have radionic instrumentation, such as, uh, you know, the... Uh, this piece that I showed on another video, the uh, hollow matronic resonator, basically, it's an amplifying tool. It's going to amplify your, your uh, desire, the thing that you placed an order for. So this is, 
this is your menu, okay? And you place your order by doing a couple of physical actions and using your mind, and you project out to the universe your decision, what you decide to have. It's as simple as that. And then you sit back and you have faith that it's going to materialize on the third dimensional plane. In other words, when you do an interaction with this piece of equipment, you're modulating or sending your information into that energy wave. Okay? You're sending your information out to the universal intelligence. The universal intelligence against again the law of similars. It's a law just like the just like gravity. It has to do what it does. It has to reflect back. Okay, a corresponding frequency in the form of a particle-based manifestation in third dimensional reality. It's a it's very, very simple concept. Where people get into a little bit of trouble is they um, think that they're doing actually the heavy lifting. They're doing the, the work, the manifesting itself, when actually they're not. A higher power is doing the, the heavy lifting. Okay? So on our end, it's simply you know, a little bit of focus. Whatever you put your attention on, you are actually collapsing the wave of infinite possibilities into a some sort of manifestation here on the third dimensional reality as we know it. Let me say another couple of things about manifesting that I think is very important. You know, we reside in the physical plane. So I always tell people, you know, whatever you may be working on, you're going to have to do some what's physical action. Not just sit back, but actually do some, I'm going to say a four-letter word now that may offend some people. The word is work. You might have to do a little bit of work. What I always found is when I start a new project and I do my manifesting and I start doing my project, working, all of a sudden things just start to happen. You know, synchronicities start to come in. New ideas start to come in. New people in my life start to come in. All sorts of good stuff starts to happen. And it's just through doing physical actions that this starts to work in unison with everything else. So, you know, we live on the physical plane. Physical action, very big. Um, another thing is a lot of folks may tell you, well, you know, after you do your radionic setup, you could, you know, go back to your old way of thinking and, you know, even if it's negative, it's not going to affect anything. No, that's not true. Everything in the universe is one, okay? Everything that affects, you know, one another, so to speak. When you do an, an operation radionically or any other type of, you know, manifesting, uh, you may think that, you know, well, my radi radionic machine is going to keep broadcasting my intent so I could, you know, go back to my, you know, my lousy way of thinking or whatever, or my obsessive thoughts. Well, it's still going to affect the working. To me, metaf metaphysical radionics is a 24-7 deal. 24-7. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean I have to think positive 24-7? No, just the opposite. Positive thinking, if you force yourself to think positively 24-7, to me, that's not a good idea because as far as I'm concerned, behind positive is always, the negative is always following closely by. It's just the way things are. You know, everything is basically duality. There's always the heads, the tails, there's always the flip side. And if you're forcing yourself to constantly think positive, you know, your subconscious mind is going to say, well, you know, um, it might put the, the energy more on the other side, the negative side of what you don't want, which is called the weight of probabilities. 
The best way to be is what I call to be what's called zero point or neutrality. You want to be neutral. You want to be right in the center of the pole, so to speak. You know, you have two ends of the pole. One is extreme positive, one is extreme negative. The center is zero point. That's the point of neutrality. At that point, things that would normally bother you do not bother you anymore because you're neutral. That's where you want to be. You want to be neutral. You want to be in a state of neutrality. So little things or big things, they don't affect you. In other words, they don't make you feel bad creating that frequency of whatever, anger, fear, lack. That's going to interfere with your workings. It could. You know, it could do that. So when people say, yeah, after you set your radionic machine, you could go back to thinking the way that you want. No, it's not true. But if you have that mindset of neutrality, you'll be better off. You'll have better, more powerful manifestations. Okay. So um, just a little bit of tips on what I call metaphysical radionics. We're working with basically um, etheric energy. We're working with, we're creating, we're co-creators. We're working with energy. Some people call it the astral plane, quantum field. Okay. We're working with energy. The energy is always there. It's, it's, it's ready to be birthed. It's ready to be manifested. We modulate it using, um, using our thoughts. This is thought consciousness interactive technology okay and as human beings we could all do this the universe is basically one we're all connected and we're connected with the universal intelligence the universe is holographic you could think of us as small universes individually all hooked up to the the uh, the main power source we're all plugged in. You know, and I discovered that years ago. Many, many years ago, I started to have spontaneous out-of-body. And uh, the first thing that I realized when I started having those was the universe is actually within me and also outside of me, which meant everything is interconnected. So I learned firsthand how energy worked. Okay, But you don't have to do out-of-body to figure it out. You know, we've done the work for you. Now, you just simply apply this consciousness technology to the energy tools and the other things that we have. And it's so easy to do. A matter of fact, it's so easy, I tell people, the less that you think, the better results that you get. Open the menu, place your order, and just have faith that it's going to happen, that they're going to bring you whatever that you ordered, you know, and it's as simple as that. Once again, thank you for watching and um, have a great day. Take care now.